where riding a bike has never been easier or as appealing. Woo! Join us as we take you on a journey throughout New Zealand. Hold on tight because it's going to be a great ride. Today, I'm travelling to the home of one of our current Members of Parliament. She's Minister for Women, Associate Minister for Health and Associate Minister for Transport. Julianne Genta is so renowned for her advocacy for sustainable and cycle-friendly transport systems that she's often called the Minister for Cycling. So, I've asked her to join me for a ride through our largest city, to see if she thinks that the future is looking bright for people on bikes. I used to ride in sports gear, but then I realised, you know, if cycling's going to be an everyday activity, you've got to be glamorous when you're cycling to attract more people to get on their bikes and enjoy how freeing it is. It's not limited to lycra. <laughs> Definitely not. Across the entire... Before Julianne was a Green Party member and government minister, she gained a BA in philosophy in her hometown of Los Angeles and studied international political studies in France. So, how did she become so involved in New Zealand's transport future? I studied a Master's of Planning Practice and I really specialised in transport. Transport affects everything else. You can't do anything good in housing if you don't fix transport. It shapes uh, the way the city fits together. I wanted to have a job where I felt like I could make a contribution and I was really concerned about environmental issues, climate change and getting to Auckland and finding it just a city of cars and traffic jams. Um, incredibly expensive to get around, uh, lots of pollution, really bad for the climate. And it's like, it doesn't have to be this way. It was wonderful to have the opportunity to make this place a little bit nicer for people. Talk to me about the 10 year plan. Where would you want to see it in 10 years from now? Oh, well, I would have liked to see it where it's just normal for 10 or 20% of the people to be jumping on their bikes to get to work or get to the shops or get to school. Particularly want to see kids able to walk and cycle to school safely. Protected cycle lanes are a big part of how we achieve that. And of course, having an interconnected, fast, rapid public transport network where you bikes can integrate with that will really extend the ability of people to get around the city uh, using a bike and public transport, which they couldn't do with just public transport or just a bike. So you're basically talking about marrying the two in, in Auckland? Yeah, well, it does get you a lot further. You know, a lot of people don't live within walking distance of a train station, but they're probably within cycling distance of a train station. What do you think is the one thing in your experience that stops people from getting on a bike? Oh, they think it's really dangerous, but it doesn't need to be that way. And I've seen other cities around the world, like Portland, Oregon, um, Vancouver, New York City, Chicago, Minneapolis, all these cities were really car oriented. And now it's really normal for people to ride bikes. It's our goals then, the New Zealand goal. Yeah, well, and because New Zealanders love being active and outdoors, so it makes sense. And everybody hates being stuck in traffic. So if you make it safe, convenient, and pleasant, lots of people do it. There's such a different vibe now, like people in Auckland really want public transport. And it's just a shame that we didn't have the political push for it 20 years ago, because we really need it now. 